someday this nation will rise up, live out the true meaning of its creed. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. I have a dream that my poor little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the skin, but by the content of that character. I have a dream to <laughs> Good morning, Eagles. I'm Justin. And I'm Hillary. And, and these, these are your morning announcements. This episode of Eagle TV is dedicated to all the dreamers in South Cobb community. As we honor Martin Luther King in this period, we urge you to keep chasing your dreams. And my dream is to become as successful in life and never give up. My dream is to dedicate myself to more knowledge and become a more positive person in life. Hi, I'm D. John. Um, my dream is I want to use my music to show myself to the world and push myself to not give up my dreams. My name is Scotland, I'm here with... Cop. Staff Sergeant Marrero with the Marines. Demo. Um, to be a fashion designer. To be successful. My dream is to actually open up a Cuban bakery pastry shop once I separate from the, mili from the military. For me and all my friends to get rich. <laughs> what is the weirdest dream you have ever had? So, me and like one of my friends from like third grade, bro, we was hitting like on top of a construction building. And then like, I ain't gonna cap, bro was getting right. And long story short, all I remember was, he had drop kicked me off the building, and then all I remember was falling, and then like smacking down, and then I fell off my bed, like in real life. It was like, it was like I was fighting, and then I started running, but I couldn't run. And I wasn't going nowhere, but I was running. And like, I was trying my hardest to run, but I couldn't go nowhere. And they just beat me up. Um, it's like, you know Big Hero 6 and the Michelin Man? They're combined and they are in the color of the manila like folders. And I'm in like one of those crazy rooms and I can't get out. The weirdest dream I ever had was after watching Child's Play as a kid, uh, I was actually being looked at by the Chucky doll through a TV while looking at myself sleep. Now these are your morning announcements. There will be a FCCLA meeting Thursday, January 16, 2020 at 3.45 p.m. in room 117. Just a quick reminder about missed exams from last semester. For any student who does not attempt the final exam, a grade of zero should be put, should be entered in the final exam column, regardless of whether the student has excused absence or not. Students who have an excused absence or who are suspended during the final exam are eligible to make up the exam and a grade change for must be submitted at the time. Students or parents must schedule an appointment with teachers to take makeup final exams by today, January 17, 2020, and submit a grade change form immediately. Suspended students may come on campus after 12.30 on the day of the final to make up an exam and must leave immediately after completing the exam. It is the student's responsibility to make up their arrangement and to come take the exam. Teachers will be responsible for giving these exams. Teachers, if you have a student who missed your final exam and as a result failed your class, please reach out and encourage them to take the exam ASAP so that they have the opportunity to earn the credit for your class. Our teachers are getting fit this new year. The planning phase for a fun fitness and weight loss challenge at South Cove High School has begun. Email Ms. Sutton to let her know if you are interested in participating in the challenge. The first organizational meeting will be held on Wednesday, January 22nd, 2020 at 7.45 a.m. in FTA room 709. This initial meeting is for faculty and staff who are interested in working together as a group to organize the challenge. The business educators of South Cobb High School will be hosting our new forum on Friday, January 24th in the lecture hall during the first, second, and third block. Please join us if you are for a time for encouragement, enlightenment, and empowerment in the educational experience not to forget. The guest speakers give their time and talents to push our students further and to hope to see you all there. For our Eagle Boys, we have 15 additional spaces on our mentoring group sponsored by Communities in School. If you are or if you are or know a young man who could benefit, please send an email to Miss Montgomery for an invite to the next session on Tuesday, February 11th, between 11:15 and 12:30. 
Yesterday, January 16th, was the Founders' Day for Zeta Phi Beta Sorority, Incorporated, which was founded on the campus of Howard University in 1920. Zeta Phi Beta is an international historically black Greek letter sorority. With it being their centennial year of existence, let's wish our favorite Zeta teachers a happy Founders' Day. Let's catch a quick glimpse of how our excited our Zeta teachers are. Hi, Ms. Guerrero. How excited are you for 100 years of your sorority? I am very excited. Um, it's, uh, it's our centennial, 100 years, 1920 to 2020. I'm very excited you are for the Beta Phi Beta 100 anniversary. All right, let's talk about excitement. Y'all wanna know about excitement? Let me give you some excitement. I am very, very so excited to be celebrating 100 years of Zeta Phi Beta Sorority Incorporated. Founded January 16th, 1920, on the campus of Howard University. <laughs> the International Festival sign-up sheet is on the door 118E, Seamus Justy, four questions. Attention students, parking decals are $50 per semester. If you've parked on campus last semester, you will need to purchase a new parking decal. They are a different color for this semester. Please come by the main office to pick up a parking application and return it along with a copy of your driver's license and current insurance and $50. Vehicles parked on the campus beginning next week will ticketed or towed without a current parking decal. The dates for Store Saturday for the remainder of the year as follows are February 1st, February 29th, March 7th, March 28th, April 25th, May 2nd, and also May 9th and May 16th. Go follow us on Instagram at SEEUTV. And, and these, these are, are all, all for the morning announcements. announcements. I have a dream that one day our great and beautiful nation will come together as one and fix the mess that we have left behind our tracks. It seems to me that everyone's forgotten about how great our society is all about. Being free does not mean the outcome of being violent and cruel to your environment, to our peers, and to our world. This all just goes back to saying, you don't know what you got until it's gone. My dream is to eventually become successful. Um, I want to be a role model for other people around me and for um, younger people, the younger generation. Um, I want to be able to say that I've earned and worked hard for everything that I that I have in my life and um, I would like to encourage others to remain humble and to continue to work hard.